this super soaker was banned. Or was it? The late 90s had some of the best toys, and perhaps none epitomized summer fun more than the Super Soaker. Did I forget to invite you to the pool party? Well, maybe next year. On those occasions when you need to make a big splash, there's the Super Soaker 100. It has a powerful air pressure system. Oh, Buffy! That's right, this water gun was on all of my friends' birthday lists. But then, something crazy happened in water warfare. The year was 1996, and Laramie, then a subsidiary of Hasbro, introduced something called the Constant Pressure System, or CPS, in its new water gun, the Super Soaker CPS 2000. It's the biggest, baddest, most powerful Super Soaker ever. The revolutionary Super Soaker CPS 2000. Constant pressure system. Maxed out nozzle delivers more water, faster and further than any other Super Soaker. Constant pressure system means you get a steady stream of raw water power. It's the next wave in water power. Here. The Super Soaker CPS 2000. As wet as it gets. Now this basically turned a backyard toy into a pressure washer. And it was awesome. You could pump these babies up and get a constant stream of water and you'd be able to hit your friends from clear across the pool. And with a large reservoir, you could do it all day long. From 1996 to the early 2000s, these CPS super soakers were all the rage. There was a CPS 3000, the 1000, the 1500, the 2500, the 500, the 600, the SC Power Pack, the 1200, the 1700, the 2700, the Monster, the SC Big Trouble, the 3200, and my personal favorite, the Monster XL. No joke, this thing is in the Guinness Book of World Records as being the largest single piece water blaster ever made. It even had a bipod, so you could prop it up and your friends didn't stand a chance. The Splash Zooka, the Monster 2001, the 135, the 2100, and the 4100. But just like with anything, the fun has to end sometime. And parents began catching on. Now, there were reports of kids getting eye injuries, welts, bruises from these super soakers because they were just so powerful. And I remember local pools even banning some of these things just because the risk of injury was too high. They were a liability. Pretty soon, the novelty wore off. Sadly, in the early 2000s, these CPS super soakers disappeared from store shelves entirely when Hasbro nerfed the super soaker brand, borrowing ideas and concepts from its dark guns for future generations. But none have managed to match the glory and the power that was the CPS Super Soaker. Now, if you're like me and you're thinking, where can I get my hands on one of these? Well, you're in luck. eBay does have some for sale as low as $25. And actually, some models like the Monster XL go for as high as 500. If you want to relive your childhood or maybe even let your kids experience the glory that was the CPS Super Soaker, I've included a link in the description below about where you can find one of these. 